Lesson 12.1. Recognize statistical questions. Essential question. How do you identify a statistical question? If you measure the heights of your classmates, you're collecting data. A set of data is a set of information collected about people or things. A question that asks about a set of data that can vary is called a statistical question. What are the heights of my classmates on July 1st? Is a statistical question because height usually varies in a group of people. What is Sasha's height on July 1st? Is not a statistical question because it asks for only one piece of information at one time. Unlock the problem. The New England Aquarium in Boston is home to over 80 penguins. Which of the following is a statistical question a biologist could ask about the penguins? Explain your reasoning. A. How much does the penguin named Pip weigh this morning? B. How much does the penguin named Pip weigh each morning on 30 different days? Identify the statistical question. So we need to choose A or B. So question A, ask for Pip's weight at one time. So it does not. It doesn't ask about a set of data that varies. Question A is not a statistical question. Question B, ask for Pip's weight at 30 times. And it is likely that Pip's weight will vary, so it's going to change. Question B, ask about a set of data that can vary, so it is a statistical question. Another biologist asked how old the penguin named Royal Pudding is. That's a funny name. Is this a statistical question? Explain your reasoning. Well, no. So the penguin has only, oops, one age at one time. So, the question doesn't ask about a set of data that varies. And that is your reasoning there for why it is not a statistical question. Next page. A statistical question can ask about an entire set of data that can vary or a value that describes the set of data. For example, what is the height of the tallest person in my class? It is a statistical question because it will tell you the greatest value in a set of data that can vary. You will learn other ways to describe a set of data later in this chapter. Example one, bongos are a kind of antelope that live in Central Africa. Bongos are unusual because both males and females have horns. Write two statistical questions a biologist could ask about a group of bongos. So they could ask, what is the length in inches of the horns on the bongo that has the longest horns in the group. Guys, they're being specific when they ask these questions. Different bongos will have different horns. This question asks about a value in a set of data that can vary. So it is a statistical question. Number two, what is the weight of the smallest bongo in the group is another question. You can ask who's the biggest, who's the smallest. Different bongos will have different weights. This question asks 
about a value in a set of data that can vary. So it is a statistical question. Try this. Write a statistical question you can ask in a situation described below. Guys, pay attention to this because this is um, going to be on your homework this evening. Writing a statistical question. So A says, a, re a researcher knows the amount of electricity used in 20 different homes on Monday. So a possible answer, this is not the only answer, so please, if you come up with one you're on your own, ask Mrs. Nicely or Mrs. Mitchell to check to see if that would be a statistical question. So a possible answer could be how much electricity does the house that uses the most electricity use. Okay, that's specific. It's asking about a certain house and it's asking exactly how much that house uses on electricity. B says a museum director records the number of students in each tour group that visits the museum during one week. Okay, this is, an, again, a possible answer. It's not the only correct answer. So how many students are in the smallest tour group? Sharon Show. Identify the statistical question. Explain your reasoning. What is the low temperature in Chicago each day in March? B. What is the low temperature in Chicago on March 7th? Question A asks for the low temperature at 31 times, and it is likely the temperature will vary. So, question B asks for the low temperature one time. So, question A is the statistical question. Okay, it's basically having you identify, is it A or B that's the statistical question? Identify. Choose which one. Number two, how long did it take you to get to school this morning? B. How long did it take you to get to school each morning this week? So, again, you have to choose which one's the statistical question. Question B. So, B asked for the time of the track on five different days. And the times will vary. Or most likely vary. Number three, it says write a statistical question you could ask in a situation. So in this situation, we're going to refer back up here. So let's think about the situation again. A possible answer could be How many households had one or more pets? And I'm sorry, it's right. I made my arrow wrong. We're looking right there. So let's just erase that. So a student recorded the number of pets in a household of 50. Households have one or more pets, and that would be specific question, but there would be multiple answers depending on how many people that you ask. Okay, go ahead and get started on your own.